at this point we're kind of on the home stretch when it comes to these basic walls we have here there'll be more added later but getting these finished will kind of give us the building blocks to get started on actually getting some prefabs put together and uh, we can kind of decide there from that point where we want to go so all that we have left to do really now would be to texture these white elements it's like the doors and the frames and stuff but you can see my texture here actually i'll go to uv editor i added a couple more pieces onto my second atlas there and um, if you want to figure out how i done that just look at uh, making a texture atlas in quite a part of the series and you'll see that so i'm going to use this um the wood here the wood grain for the window frames and the door and then for like the sill of the window here i will be using this plaster slash concrete looking thing i also have a, a little red brick here as well i don't really have plans for that yet i'm thinking maybe i'm gonna make some sort of element bordering the windows and the doors using some traditional red brick instead of the the rustic gray that we have there but all of these textures at the moment they're kind of they're they're not so much decided on yet they could change down the line i know for a fact i kind of want to change that when i view that on the roof i'm not too happy about it so i'll keep scouring for something that i could replace that with but because i have the files active in Krita, it's easy to come in and just replace those textures out and then resave your diffuse your normal and your roughness maps again so with that in mind we're just going to go ahead and start cutting this stuff up here so i'll go into my modeling window and i'll start with, i'll start with the large piece here i'm going to get take the door i'm going to isolate it and in the material tab i want to make sure that i've got both my textures on this now because i've got two texture atlases so i'll add the first you can see that this doesn't have any uvs on it whatsoever so we'll get to that now um, first of all, I just want to add the second atlas here. So I'm going to click this little plus tab here, and it'll give me a empty material. I just want to go to my drop down here, and now I can select atlas two from the list. So now what that allows me to do is I could basically let's say I unwrap. Let's say I, I unwrap this piece here. I press U and unwrap. Now we are we're getting the atlas on it, but if I was on Let's say we have this wood here, okay? So I'll go into my UV editor for this. The plan with setting up multiple textures in different slots is so that we can mix and match these as we want. So let's say I wanted them outside, like the main kind of area of the door here. I want that to be like hardwood here, okay? So what I could do would be, I'll take these elements I'll just take that and I'll press U and unwrap that separately. So for the moment, I'm just going to take that out of the scene here. I want to unwrap these guys. I'm going to give them maybe this wooden lat kind of look here. So I'll quickly just pack that. And it's packing up here because that's where my target box is. I'm not going to bother editing. It's fine. I can just use Zen and I'll move it over. So I have, it, I have that packed in here. Now I'll just pack the other one grab that and pack now you can see although it's on this concrete slash plaster image it's shown up as the tiles on the door that's because now we have both slots are being used in our material so if we go to our material tab and i decide let's say because this is texture 2 here if i wanted that to be the tiles i would go to texture atlas 1 and assign and when you click assign it's going to assign that highlighted poly to the slot so we have two slots here if i select atlas 02 and click assign it will now take that texture from the second atlas and put it onto that poly so that's a good way really of um let's say i wanted to i'll take both of these and i'm going to move them into this uh this wood here i'll maybe take the center line for the sake of symmetry now i can just press shift and deselect the middle and with all this selected i can move that up into the hardwood say so i'll go to pack that'll pack it in and i want to move this to the left and i want to rotate it so i'll go to my rotate here and just rotate that 90 degrees pack again because i kind of lost it on the there 
Now I'll just move it over one more time. I could probably actually expand that up as well. I'll just grab him and bring him up to the top. I'll make sure constraint is turned on for this. Okay. So we have a brick texture there. So I want to go to Atlas 02 and assign that. And now we have a hardwood. So having the multiple atlases kind of tagged in on this material is a great way to mix the result of what we want. And then we could take another instance of this door, say. Um, if it'll stop snapping like a madman. Right, so then let's say I didn't want that. These to be here. I could just move them up. Maybe have the grain go in a, a different direction. And that could be a different instance of the door, and it won't affect the original one. So we can take one model, assign different materials to it, and then just keep them handy. For, so, like, obviously every door and every house on the same street won't be exactly the same. We could have different colours and stuff, and that's all done through these tabs, and uh, just having different atlas kind of set up that way. So, with that explained, hopefully... In a way that people can understand. I'll just finish um, UVing off this door here. Because we're going to UV this now, actually, it might be a good idea to... I wanted to add a little extra detail into this, I think. And I'm going to do it now at this stage, before I go any further, so I don't have to re-UV anything, or I don't risk stretching any polys. So... For the moment, actually... It'll be easier to do this without a texture on it. So I've done no major work on this for the moment, so I don't mind actually just going into Object Data Properties here, which is this little green triangle, and I'm just going to remove that UV that we've done. I want this to be basic. I'll, uh, I'll remove these atlases as well, just so we can get a flat shade here. Now, I want this to kind of extrude in one more time. And then kind of pop out. So with, with the main poly selected there, I'll press I. And that'll inset. And now I'll inset one more time, a little larger. And now I want to pull these outwards. So the best way to do that would be from the side angle. If I go to scale. I'll scale along this green axis here. You can see that will scale it uniform. I don't want it to be that much though, obviously. I just want to go a little. And something like that will actually catch. I'm just thinking that when this is kind of, you know, rendered in the scene with lights, you want something that's going to catch those edges a little better. I think I went a little large on that first, on that first inset. So what I'll do actually is I'll just inset this again and divide it. And with that, I can just grab the innermost ring and remove, dissolve them. And that'll move move it out to the, the new set of rings that I've got. So, yeah, that's better. Right, here we go. Now this is ready to unwrap. And at least if I was to put a light on this, it kind of, with that extra extrusion, it catches the light a little better. So that'll look uh, it'll look much better textured up there. Right, so now I will reassign my atlases. One and two here. Okay, we'll start with two, because we know that I'm gonna use this for the main the main door here. So I will grab this. I'm gonna test and just see how this would look if I kept them all as individual squares. I'll unwrap. And I will come to Zen here and I'm just going to fill island. Now we just need to pack it. And I'll come into transform and move it to the left onto this wood. Now it's shown up as brick here so I'll just go to Atlas 2 and assign. Now I don't like the horizontal grain on that so what I'll do is I'll rotate this 90. Yeah, that's a lot better. Let's to see if it will line up with the bottom. I'll do the same here. Unwrap. 
uh, fill island. Now I need to pack or transform to the left and rotate. And then uh, assign Atlas so to this poly selection. Now, it looks okay. I'm just going to have to turn off wireframe here to get a better, better look at the joins. Okay, not bad, just a little offset here. Now, something gave me the impression though that this material wasn't perfect. I don't think it tiles perfectly in the, in the actual material itself. So another thing I was actually thinking was maybe I would break this up. As well, it's unusual to see, there's no cuts here where you'd expect that to be a cut. There's no doors ever carved out of a solid piece of wood like that, really. It's normally panels that are cut from different angles and then put in and they're joined. So we could actually approach that as if this was like a real life door. Um, we'll do that, I think. I'm going to grab these middle panels and I'll grow my selection out to this point. With that, I'll unwrap. I'll pack and move to the left. Now I'll probably scale each of them up. I want to use the full material if I can here. Get as much detail into this. So I'm going to just bring them all in here. I don't mind if they overlap. And I can move and rotate. No, I've got to do this way. All right. No bother. So they're using the full extent, but you can see that now they're tiling. It's very visibly tiling here. Okay, so now each of those are identical, but I can just grab and kind of move them around a bit. And actually, I suppose here, it doesn't matter if these are going to be rotated or not, because they're not joining, they're not seamless anyway. So I will actually rotate this one just to give, just to give a little more variety here. Move him up a touch as well. Okay, so we'll take that, and now let's start unwrapping these. So there's a poly here I want to not forget, just I'll click him and I'll hold control and click the far one and that will select everything in the line and we'll unwrap. Now with that I'll just select everything that I just unwrapped here. Alright, so now we'll now we look at the grain here. I'll need to move this to the left here. And some of these need to be turned. So I'm actually gonna instead of having to reselect all of these, what I'll do is in my UV here, I'll go to UV and I want to seam some islands. Click that. And that every cut that we have here, it'll put a seam around it. So now we can just find the ones that need to rotate like here and hover over the press L and it'll it'll restrain only into that island. So here I can rotate that. Pack it again and I'll move it back. Need to do the same here. Rotate back. And these need to be done as well. That's strange. 
Okay. So, definitely the cuts are a little more complicated. But, I think I removed those seams. And look, it definitely looks a little more realistic. The way the grain is changing as well. So, I just need them to do, you can see the seam here. I need, I need to just cut up then the rest of the pieces like I did that. Um, not to confuse it though, like I know I was kind of all over the place with that. You're just trying to cut the bits that make sense. Like this will be its own. Unwrap him. Now we'll select this small and do the, do him. And now because these are giant along that seam, I'll make that all one. Unwrap. So I'm gonna go around. I'm not gonna do this in real time because it'll take a long time. I'm just gonna go around the door and select all these individual angles and unwrap them individually. So I'll just time lapse this little bit here. I think from that point then, really all that's left for me to do are, I'll do the wooden frames here. I'll, I'll use this wood texture for that as well. I'm, I'm most likely going to go back and kind of try out a few different textures, maybe replace one or two, but it's just to get a feel for it for the moment. This is going to be like the concrete, white painted concrete I have for this. This will be a lot more forgiven as well because similar to the doors, they're kind of joined seamlessness isn't a big priority with these nor this so this is actually going to be pretty fast i'm just going to start and focus on these outside these outside uh the stone pieces first so with that i'll start with this guy i'm going to isolate him and i'm not sure if we're going to need that back face but i'll leave him for the moment i have him kind of smooth it out there or turn this into uh, quads so everything's ready to go there it's actually UV'd already so the way you have this UV laser here it's going to open from the back here and unfold underneath I might need to bring this cut further up actually I'm going to bring it up to this point on both sides just to get a better unfold there so I'll right click that and I'm going to mark that as a seam so I'll just highlight the whole thing and press U and I'm going to unwrap that. Yep, yeah, that actually un unfolded pretty nice there. So I'll just go into Zen here. I want to close up all this unnecessary stuff. And I'll just rotate this. UV edit here and I will pack Pack this into the right slot and we'll have a look here and nothing showing up because I need to give it the atlas so I'll give them both yeah that's actually quite nice looks like an old painted piece of concrete all right so I'll keep that and I probably get a little more out of this maybe if I just I want to get as much of that scuff into there as well. Kind of show the age on this. Yeah, I'll take that for now. Now I'll have a look at these sides here. 
they're already cut as well so I must have done that off camera as well so what I'll actually do for the sake of recording this I'll just remove that UV map it doesn't have one what oh okay so I cut it but I didn't UV it all right no harm I'll just go from start again anyway I'm gonna clear all seams right I'll isolate it and this is the same as pretty much everything else we're just gonna put our cuts into the corners we get the best one fold that way and I can put a loop cut around the back here where it's not going to be seen and they'll all then fold out nicely so I'll just right click mark seam there as well and now one by one I'm just going to go through this unwrap them you see they unwrap pretty nice as well okay we'll select each of them and I'm going to give these seams from islands as well just so it's easier to select them individually and pack so similar story I gotta give this to materials so I'll give it atlas 01 and add a tab and give it atlas 02 and now I'll select everything and with atlas 02 highlighted I'm just going to assign there and that will give me my stone then all right looking okay So then that just leaves us with the wooden elements here that we can kind of go through as well. Again, all we're doing is cutting the corners on this. I'll revisit the glass once I have a proper grunge map to kind of give that a better a better uh, glass effect. Um, for the moment, I'm just going to isolate each of these. And I'm just going to look actually at the edges here. I think maybe... Yeah, I might break these apart, actually make this unwrapping a little handier. So I'll just, I want to grab this outside piece. I'll turn snap off for a second. I want to make sure these are individual and not joined. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Right, so I will start with this. I'm going to be moving these off center, actually, just to make this handier. So. To make sure I'm able to snap back to this, I know that they all share the same pivot point. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to snap and I'll snap cursor to select it. That'll put my cursor there now so I can move these, I'll break these apart and get a proper unwrap of them and then I can just snap each one back to the cursor. So with that, I'm just going to come in and I'm going to start selecting these corners. It's kind of hard to see here. Okay, this might have been a mistake. No, I can manage it. I'll select each corner here. And right click and mark scene. Now I'll move on to the next, which is this one. And this is going to be the same. I basically want to cut every corner right it's quite a lot of cuts on this so on the back piece here these are basically uh, these two middle supports. They're kind of boxed. So unless we give them another cut, they won't be able to unfold properly. So I'm just going to cut into the corner because if I cut the center line there, you'll visibly see that seam kind of dissipate into each other from that angle. Because remember these, these um, modular pieces, they're going to be interior accessible as well. So. If we were to bring this into a game engine then we could walk inside these houses and we're going to see all these cuts so by putting it in the corner it's kind of got a natural it breaks away naturally from the eye you're not going to see it that well 
So with those all highlighted, oh press. No, with those all highlighted, I'm going to right click and mark seam there as well. And now with these, I want it actually to smooth these out a bit. So this is a similar story. I'm just going to remove what I've done here. I'm going to clear the seams and I'm going to start over. But I want to kind of round off. I'm going to bevel these outside, outside angles, just to give it a, a slightly softer look. Control D and I'll just give it a very subtle little bevel there. And now I can go ahead and unwrap this too. This is going to be the same as everything. I'm just going to select the corners. Okay, and I'll mark seams there. And again, I need to, because they're boxes, basically I need to come in and I'll cut, I'll cut along the backside as well, just a complete loop around so I'll be able to unfold each. And I'll mark down the seams. Okay, so then with all that, I should be able to just unwrap all these without any problems. I'll select everything, tab, and press 3 for polys, A for everything, and I'll just press U and unwrap. And that unwrap basically down everything into its own strip. So that's a nice little neat unwrapping there, but there's a lot of these um, islands that are actually identical. Like, we know that this side of the window here, say, would be identical to this side, as far as length and cut goes. So instead of actually having to do this all manually, there's a nice little um, thing here in Zen under the stack panel here. You open that up and you click stack. It'll actually line up all those islands that are identical to each other and it'll kind of free up the space there. So we could just go ahead and pack that now and that'll pack them all in. Now with that, I know that I'm going to be giving it this wood texture. So I got to add that wood texture. So I'll give both the atlases here and with two highlighted, I'll click assign. And it's in the concrete at the moment. So I got to, I know actually I need to rotate these, I'm sure. So I'll rotate once and then I'll go to transform and just move them to the left. And a little bit of cleanup needed there, but you get the gist. This is going to be the same. And so is this, so. All right, so I just got it. Assign Atlas 2 to these guys here. Alright, so there's a couple cuts that are needing to be adjusted there, but we can actually just mass adjust this all in one go. We'll just select everything, A to highlight everything. And with them all in that orientation, if I just zoom in on it here, I can see that that's where we're coming from. That's where the problem is. We're overlapping our UV bounds. So I'll just click pack again. And that'll line it up again for me. And I can just move them over again. And that will pack them properly into the slot. Actually, I don't like that straight up. That big knot there. So I'm going to undo what I just done. Better. Okay. That's not too bad. But uh, yeah, I'll leave that as is. I'm going to write. I'm going to select each one that I moved off. Off center. And I want to snap to cursor. Selection the cursor and that'll move it back into place for me. Now there's our window frames done. So we just have now the windows to do here. I might actually change that now that I look at it. That knot is a little obnoxious. Um 
Yeah, so I've got this other window to do as well, but I'll do that off camera, save a bit of time. The process is identical though. I'm just kind of cutting out the corners, aligning them on the UV, and then I will give the wood to the window frame and the white, the painted stone, I'll give to the sill and the border. And I'll also give the stone to this piece here. So I'll get that done and we'll meet up in the next end and see where we go from there.